So far then, all is well. But before I get too carried away, there are a couple of not so good things about this new MX-5. The first problem is not really the car's fault at all, but I should mention it. It's the image of the MX-5. Put it this way, if your business is called a cut above, fringe benefits or hair apparent, it's long been the choice of car for you. But if you run a magazine called Belt Fed Machine Gun Enthusiast, you probably want to look elsewhere. The second problem is the looks. I can see what they've done. They've given a cute little car a frown. It's the whole angry puppy thing. But I'm just not quite sure yet. But you know what? These are tiny ripples in what is otherwise an ocean of brilliance. God, I love this thing. It's made of fun. Listen to that. I know when I get back to the studio, Jeremy's going to be standing there pointing at an Alfa Romeo 4C saying this is the lightweight car to have. But it's 50 grand, and they make a fuss about it being light. This is just simple. I love this. I'm just made up with this. said so in the film. But look, the fact is you could buy two MX-5s, no, two and a half, for the price of one Alpha. Yes, but the Alpha Romeo is lighter. How do you know? Every time we ask Alpha how much it weighs, they send us a different number. Because they're not troubled with specific details like that. If you build a car that's as much fun as this with a carbon fibre tub chassis, you take it for a drive, you don't weigh it. <laughs> that's not, I mean, when Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa, he didn't say, well, how much that weighs? No, he's not thinking the whole the whole point of the Alpha, we're told, is its lack of weight. That's why they tell us it feels a bit flimsy and a bit brittle and it hasn't got power steering because it's so light. But then they won't tell us how light it actually is. Because they're too busy having fun. Mazda made that and then they went, I wonder how many horsepower it, it produces. Let's put it on a whirling road and let's weigh it. Why do they just make the figures up? That's what the Italians always do. <laughs> they do! Right, once Alpha finally give us the convertible version of this, let's get it together with the Mazda and we'll sort out which is best. Good idea, but now we must put a star in our reasonably priced car. Now, my guest tonight,